All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take out an old stereo in a car and put in an aftermarket stereo. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to have to take off this faceplate right here. And all that's holding this on is just some clips. So just be really careful whenever you're taking off that you don't break them. Just get under here. Tie it up. So once you're done with this, once you have this popped out and everything, there's two bolts that hold this radio in. You're going to want to take them out to pull the radio out. And for this, I have a 930 second attachment on my nut driver, and it fits the bolts quite nicely. Then, once you get that put out, just pull the stereo out, and you'll see some wires. Okay, now that all this is out, we can get started on the new one. Now there's a couple things that you're going to need for this. We're going to need one of these plugs right here. And basically what this does is it plugs into your old one. And it allows you to connect it to the, allows you to connect it to this stereo via this little plug right here. This cost me about $10. Um, it's called a, an adapter plug. You can buy one from Walmart or any place that sells electronics and stuff like that. So now I'm going to show you how to wire up this plug to the new radio. Wiring is pretty straightforward. Basically what you do is you just match up the colors. I mean it's there's really not much more to it than that. Just match up the colors of the wires with the corresponding color. Something and um, once you buy it you're gonna have to do a lot of modifying to it just buy it for the specific model of your car and uh, you're also gonna have to buy a plug for the specific model of your car but uh, once you do that and get it all set up it should just slide in and we're gonna hope that we did this one right so I finally got the stereo installed it did give me quite a bit of trouble getting it installed I finally got it all installed it was totally worth it so I'm gonna demonstrate that it does work um, because we did have a little bit of trouble with the power, uh, one of the, uh, strips and one of the plugs got messed up and we had to fix it, but, um, it was just a minor thing and it works now. You can see the radio comes on. It's on. I have a set on aux. So, it, so as you can see, the radio does work. All right. So I do want to go ahead and apologize and say, I'm sorry this video has taken me so long to make. I was having so much trouble getting it installed and I just had a ton of stuff happen and it just took me forever. It's taken me over like two weeks just to film this video. One last thing I want to say is that whenever you install a new stereo that's aftermarket, whenever you install an aftermarket stereo like Alpine or Pioneer or Sony or anything like that, you're probably going to get aftermarket speakers too because that stereo in there pumps out 100 watts. Okay, well each of my speakers pump out 25 watts. Now, I can blow those speakers very easily because they're not rated for the wattage that that stereo is pumping out, but 
I don't have the money right now to go buy after, uh, aftermarket speakers. If I did, I would go buy them, and I'm probably going to have to get them eventually just because I, re just because I replaced the stereo in it. Um, so that's just something to think about. Like whenever you replace your stereo with an aftermarket one, make sure that you get aftermarket speakers as well because if not, you're just going to create a lot of problems in the future and blow your factory speakers. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.